What's up legends? So we are doing three lift kits in this video. Um, I'm already dirty because I've just been fixing my uh, Land Rover. Uh, I'm going camping in that um, hopefully next week or the week after and I needed to fix the wheel bearing because it was making some hectic noises. So anyway, I have fixed that but I didn't film it because I know I've just got too much to do this weekend. So there's a couple other cars to do which I probably won't film because I'm just going to focus on these lift kits. Um, yeah, put three lift kits, brand new fulcrum um, lift kits. I'm in stock, supplied and fitted through my shop. And yeah, I'm really happy with the with these kits. Uh, I haven't been doing any. I've done a lot through a lot of my supplier gets can get me all my supplier can get me all different brands of um, suspension. But I haven't done anything with fulcrum yet. So yeah, this is my first um, experience using fulcrum lift kits, and I'm doing three in a row. So, but the first one went really well. Their kits are prepared well. Um, they're good quality and um, yeah, it was, it was very seamless. It's even come with brake line extender and stuff because you've got the two inch lift. And uh, yeah, and then the ranges, I think they've come with um, tow shop spaces or something. I can't really remember. I haven't done one yet, like I said. So yeah, anyway, I'm super keen to do it. If you guys want these lift kits, I can supply them or supply and fit is my preferred method. But yeah, if you guys just want a lift kit, you're in Geelong and you want to buy a lift kit, hit me up. You can uh, definitely buy them through me uh, or get them supplied and fitted. But uh, anyway, let's get into it.
So that's the second lift kit done. Um, I've taken that, as you would have already seen, I've taken it outside, measured it, went for a drive, come back on the, chucked on the hoist, checked over everything again, and uh, put the center caps back on, and it is ready to go out. And then we're about to start on the other Ranger, but I, this has taken me a fair while to do this lift kit, because um, I often forget just how many things happen on a Saturday. Saturday is such a busy day for me, but, um, so I don't really, I forget to factor that in to what I'm doing. But anyway, it's fine. I wanted to do three of these kits in 24 hours and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So anyway, let's get this one off the hoist and get the other one on the hoist and put his old suspension in the back of his ute somewhere. And um, yeah, crack into it. Alright, so just a quick one. If you're doing a car that has a rear airbag assist kit, just take the valve. You'll find that it'll have little valves at the back of the car, like that. Um, so you just want to take the actual valve out of it, whether you can see that or not. But yeah, the valves just screw out. Get a little tool, screw the valve out so you can take all the air out of the bag. And then just tie the bag up out of your way. You don't have to take the whole bag mount and everything out. Um, I've just taken the bracket off the bottom here and then just yeah, lifted it up so it's out of the way and now I'll be able to pull this leaf out, put the other leaf in and um, swap it over. So yeah, it's not that hard if you've got one that's got air, a bag assist kit in the back, don't freak out. Um, the biggest thing is don't take the air out of the bags before you lift the car. Um, have some air in the bags, lift the car up. Once you've got the weight off the bag so it's disconnected from the leaf, then you can take the air out of the bag because otherwise you do risk tearing a bag if it's got a lot of pressure on it. But anyway, back in order.
the last lift kit is done i am exhausted um hasn't been like a very very long day i was expecting to be here for a lot longer seeing as if this lift kit took half the amount of time as the first lift kit but that seems to be the way that you when you do things if you do them repetitively that's kind of one of one kind of why i wanted to do one after the other because you'll get in a rhythm and then you'll smash the other one out the first one might take a little bit longer but the second one will take a lot less time so i'm really happy with that because i've made up the time i lost yeah no i finished at a pretty good time like going off the first one i thought i was going to be here to like two o'clock in the morning it's only midnight but that's okay i'm usually here till midnight i've still got to pack up and um do a fair bit of stuff so i'll be here for another hour or so and i've got to move all the cars around because i need to put the other ute that i did on this hoist so i can put one of my cars underneath it and then this one i'll take for a test drive and then put it back on that hoist so that i can give it another check over and then another one of my cars can go underneath that um, and then everything's stored away for the night yes um i've made a mess of my shop this any problem with doing a bunch of jobs or a big job like i always say is you may end up making a mess if you do little jobs you can sort of pack up as you go it's not such a big deal um i just had to delete a heap of footage i'm waiting for some more hard drives i've currently got like seven hard drives but they're like eight terabyte ones but i keep filling them up and um, i've got no hard drive space at the moment and to download the footage from today was like i think a total of like 200 gig or something um so i've actually just had to delete a few videos off my hard drive which sucks because then i've lost that raw footage if i ever need it in the future um but I had one video that was 687 gig. So I was like, well, I think that's going to have to go. Because then otherwise I would have had to delete a bunch of smaller ones. But yeah, because I'm shooting so many. My, back in the day, most of I was just going through the videos. Most of my videos were like 20, 30 gig of uh, footage. Uh, whereas now, they're like hundreds. You know, because I'm filming with so many different cameras and in better quality and all that sort of stuff. So... Yeah, it's crazy and then it needs space on the hard drives obviously to be able to edit them and stuff so yeah anyway i'm going to i the last one didn't play out with the wheel alignment very much by doing the lift kit so i think this one should be the same hopefully fingers crossed um so basically i'll just put it down do up the wheel nuts uh check the alignment make sure that wheels are straight and then if i need to adjust it i'll adjust it and then um yeah i'm gonna head off for a drive but yeah, in case there's anything, unless there's anything interesting that I find, which I highly doubt, this will be the end of this video. Um, as far as what I thought of the Fulcrum um, lift kits, I'm very, very happy. They're very straightforward. The kits are put, put together well. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely going to start trying to push to get more of that sort of work doing these lift kits. Um, although it would be nicer to do them on um, more custom cars rather than just trade utes. But at the end of the day, it pays the bills. Um, so I can't have my cake and eat it too. Sometimes I have to, you know, it's still doing at least something cool. I'd rather be doing that than servicing cars. So if I do it one day a week, I can do a couple lift kits or whatever, or like this, do one last night and two today. Um, that's paid all the bills for the week. So yeah. Anyway, if you guys are looking to get stuff like this done to your car, then hit me up because um, there's no better time than now because I'm currently giving away $2,500. Um, anyone that comes gets work done at the shop gets an entry into the giveaway that's uh every 10 bucks you spend gets you an entry so the more you spend the more chances you have of winning and um yeah anyway i'll see you on the next one